Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and I'm back for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we have a real treat for all you Titans Returned fans. I just got myself for my birthday, none other than Titans Return Trypticon. And we have him in his base mode. You're probably wondering, why can't I fit him on the whole camera? Well, there's a reason. My table ain't long enough, and I don't have enough space to show him off completely. But these panels flip down, so you can send Decepticons up the ramps. It's an option you can do. And then we have some ports if you want to put some gun emplacement. Me, I just take a Titan Master to make it seem like right on those little platforms there's little gun turrets. It's an option you can do with Battle Masters from Transformers Siege. It's an option, and options are good. Now we're going to take a look at our second mode, but our second mode with Trypticon. So first and foremost, we're going to flip in the leg. And the panel just popped off again. There's going to be a lot of popping off here. And I'm going to have to reattach that ramp. But here we have a leg all reconnected and folded up. Now we're going to connect the ramp back in to its port like so. And now we're ready to do the other leg. Second verse, just like the first, we're going to and another panel popped off. Man, these panels are sensitive. And now we're going to reconnect the other panel for the other part of, of Mobile Fortress Mode, a.k.a. Spaceship Mode, which that's the next mode we'll be showing off. And now we're going to rotate these legs inwards to become some support for the Spaceship Mode. Now we're going to flip these out to form the wings. Fold, full tilt down to form the carrier for him. And here we have spaceship mode. Very interesting, very interesting, very impressive. If I do say so myself. It's not the worst spaceship mode. But to me, it'll be Mobile Fortress. And you can open up this head nose cockpit and you can put a vehicle into that and have a vehicle coming right out of it. I'll demonstrate by removing our full tilt from here. And you can store full tilt inside the cockpit. Ain't that cool? A nice feature for this toy. Now we're going to get on to reviewing, to, not reviewing, but showing off full tilt robot mode. Sorry about that, I stuttered a bit. I do have that problem. As the, the first I don't know if I'm the first autistic reviewers, but I do have a tendency to get easily messed up. So if you're watching this and you hear me make a few mistakes, understand. I have quite a few pronouncing issues and getting context right completely. And full tilt, we almost got him in his robot mode. Flip out the hands. Flip this up, or 
and the head just fell right out. The form, the backpack. Bring in his Titan Master, fold it up. And there we have Full Tilt in his robot mode. Looking very impressive and very interesting. And yeah, he's a neat, he's a well painted neat robot with a lot of paint applications and accurate to the G1 version, if I do say so myself. I just got around to getting the Titans Return Trypticon. I wasn't going to get the G1 version. But given I really wanted a Trypticon in my collection, he was worth it. Now we're going to transform full tilt back into car mode and reconnect it into the platform. Because we're moving on to reptilian mode. The most important thing with reviewing Trypticon. Fold out these panels, fold them in, fold them around, fold these in until you hear them click. Put this gun in for storage. Put in the headmaster. Second verse, just like the first. And now we're going to reconnect this into the platform till you hear it click, flip it up. And now we're ready for step two. Flip up the wing, fold up the leg until you hear it click. Second verse, just like the first. Rotate it downwards and backwards and there we have a leg all done second verse just like the first fold down this panel fold up the leg make sure it clicks into place which is the main thing to do here and there we have a leg all done. Now we're going to try to get him standing. Pick him up. Get the legs straightened out. Second verse, just like the first. We're going to rotate these cannons upwards. So we can turn around his head. And there we have Trypticon's head so far. Cording in these guns upwards. A lot of... And there we have Trypticon. In his dino mode. And he is pretty awesome and very well, well painted. Plus you can have these cannons pulled out so you can get the effect where he's firing his, his head cannons, which is pretty cool. The arms are really poseable. I love it. Even the legs are poseable. I love it. I really do. Now we're going to do comparison. For comparison, here he is next to Cybertron Metroplex. I don't have a Generations Metroplex to compare this to. This is the closest Metroplex I have in my collection. I didn't buy one when he first came out, so he's pretty expensive. So here he is next to 
Energon, Scorponok, and I don't have an Earthrise Scorponok yet, but this is a good representation of Scorponok for the comparison with Trypticon here. What does he look like next to some other Titans Return boys? There he is with Octane. And that's a pretty good comparison. Here he is with Soundwave from Titans Return. He topples over Soundwave. Here he is with Titans Return Overlord. He Titan he towers over the mighty overlord. And here he is with Titan's Return Hardhead, and he is bigger than him. Not Hardhead. Yeah, it is Hardhead. Yeah. I'm bad with names with certain characters. I I get them messed up from time to time. I can't... I get memory forgets. Here he is next to Titan's Return... Legends class, Little Legends, Ramhorn, and he is bigger than that little guy. Here he is next to Titans Return Ape Face. He is bigger than Ape Face. And for the most important comparison, here he is next to Transformers Universe Classics. Galvatron, if I can get him to stand. He has hard trouble standing. Yeah, he towers over the mighty Galvatron. And that's all there is to say for comparisons. You're probably wondering, where did I get this from? I got this from eBay for only... Only a hundred and twenty-one bucks plus seven bucks, not seven, but six bucks shipping and handling. You could probably find this maybe at a convention for less or some thrift store maybe. But given the whole corona, I bet there ain't much places open. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.